my police orderly tells me what is happening in Nigeria. Minister of Information, La Mohammed, says apart from body protection, he is orderly providing updates of happenings in the country. He said this on Wednesday in Abuja at a ceremony to decorate his police orderly, Lucky Moses. Moses was recently promoted by the Police Service Commission, PS. C from the rank of inspector to assistant superintendent of police ASP. Mohammed told Nan that Moses has been with him since he was sworn in as minister in November 2015. He has a bit his loyalty in various forms. He is pained when he hears anything bad about me and he tries to defend me, he said. Moses is like a sounding board for me. And every morning, the first thing I ask him is, what are they saying in town about the government and your minister? There is no popular radio station and discussion that he does not follow from his own way of understanding. He will present issues to me. Sometimes, when some politics of the government are misunderstood, I will take time to explain to him what the people think and what the re-situation is. Mohammed hailed the officer for his loyalty and dedication to duty. <laughs> Hello Nigerians. <laughs> I get you people uh, actually understand what is going on here. What a country that a minister of information does not know what is happening in the country. No wonder they, they get things wrong. You know, sometimes when these people talk, I will like, are, are they actually living in this country? Are you sure they are really getting fat? Are you sure these people are living in this country or they live in the moon? Because they are not current. They are not current. That's why Nigerians always call him li li liar. He's not current. This guy does not search for information. So... If not is orderly, this man will not be getting information. He's not working. That means whatever this man uh, tells him he believes, he does not actually go to find out the real facts about things. These people could just come out social media, they could just talk rah, anything. They could just talk calm like that. But we wait day here, no waiting to happen. But our leaders, they don't care about what is happening. This is a really a very big disgraceful stuff. That minister of information does not know what is happening in the country. If not, it's orderly. So you guys, what is the meaning of information? What is the meaning of information? You are a minister of information and you are not working hard to get your facts before you say anything. We all know what happened in Lekki Tollgate. Wait till we use our eyes see. These people came, they changed it. They changed the story, changed the narrative and all that. So you see, the reason why this administration is failing, the reason why Mr. President is failing, and they don't even know all this, he, he, he has succeeded in surrounding himself with the wrong people. These people, they are not really working. Where are we going to start from? Is it additional? All the people surrounded by Mr. President are wrong people. They are not telling him the facts. The, Mr. President don't, don't even know. I'm not sure if the president knows what is going on in this country. He said the problem when we get too much. The wahala, a tie, a tie, we are to rapper. The problem when we get. Where are we going to start from? Where are we going to start amending all these things? From where? <laughs> so, <laughs> Moses has finally joined the liar's gang now. What do I have to say? Because if Moses is, had been the one providing the uh, in, information ministers, all the information, you know, he has been distributing or dishing out to the public, that means... Moses has joined the liar's gang. The minister is, stylish, is stylishly pushing blames 
on Moses because he said he believes him of on, on everything that he says. Both of them should have known deep within that things within that things is not working well in this country. These people does not work for our interests. That is just the gospel truth. They don't care about us. If this man can say a thing like this, this is really a big shame to that office. He could just sit down. You know, they, you know, you know, you know, they go to look for some information. They rely on one person. Anything that the person tells him, he believe, and he come out to social media, they blast out like that. You know, finish. They are not working hard. That is why we are here today. So hello guys. Nigerians have reacted to this. So let's hear from them. The first person I have here said, So you, now you want people to feel Moses is behind all the lie you've been lying. Exactly. That is just, that is just the thing. He has stylishly pushed the blame to Moses. And Moses, they give him information. So whatever Moses gave to him, that is what he dish out to the public. But he has failed in his own aspect because it's not really working. Information ministers are supposed to sort for information before saying anything, before coming to the public. Okay, someone said, yeah, if Moses has been the one deceiving you, right, both of you, con, con the fool, con the fool yourself by the God grace, Una go collect on her own side from God. Okay, someone said there, yeah. hmm. what's what is all this about Moses? Moses must be a liar too. Okay, someone said there, yeah. must Moses failed to tell you about the insecurity in every corner of the country. So when they stayed at villa to enjoy themselves, they forget about poor masses. What do you think? So hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. Uh, let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Please don't forget to leave your um, Don't forget to give us thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for let's stop by. God bless you.